Good evening, everybody. You're watching Five Girls, Five Minutes, where five girls talk for five minutes and don't edit their videos. I am Tara. It is Tuesday, July 24th, 2012, and the big news of the day is I am now officially, as of this morning at 6.22 a.m., a college student again. So yeah, so how about that? That's pretty exciting. Yeah, I got to register my classes this morning. I'm taking two classes at uh, Central New Mexico Community College, which, you know, in insert exciting, funny, whatever, community college jokes here, community study group, whatever, blah, blah, blah. Um, I am excited. I'm excited more about how cheap it is because it's only about, it's less than $50 a credit hour. So I'm taking like six credit hours, so it's like pretty affordable. Um, I'm excited, I'm nervous. I'm more excited than nervous, but I also just really, um, this means a lot of things. It means that I am eligible to apply for an intern license. So yeah, that's what teacher school that Tara, er, Sarah was talking about. I'm Tara, not her. Sarah was talking about the teacher school that I got into, which I was talking to you guys about last time. So it's an alternative licensure program. Eventually I will be getting my license to be a teacher, but right now I can apply for an intern license, which means I can apply for teaching jobs if I hold an intern license. So, and actually, my there's a job that my principal, I think, I can't remember if I told you guys about this or not, and if I have, I really apologize. <laughs> I apologize because, um, yeah, I don't know, but because this is my life right now, this is what I do. So, um, but there's a job that my principal at my school has been telling me that she, she would like to put me in. So I started the process of applying for that recently, which is pretty exciting. Um, I, I have, so I started applying for it today. I, I haven't finished it. I have to, you know, do a, put a resume on there and I have to do some other stuff, get some transcripts and all kinds of crap sent out, which is not any fun really, but um, it's but it's something, and I'm still optimistic, and this is a job that I didn't know if I was necessarily going to have the opportunity to get, and I still don't know if I'm actually going to get it or not, and I don't know if doing this job and doing college at the same time are really going to be a possibility, but I'm hoping so. So there's a lot of like things happening in my life right now, and it's pretty exciting for me because um, it's happening all at once. And it's really, it's really, I mean, it's overwhelming, like I said before, but it's happening and it's going and that's what life is. So I'm taking it one thing at a time. I'm doing the things that I can. I have an advisor meeting, uh, an advisor appointment tomorrow to make sure that I know what I'm doing because I don't necessarily feel super comfortable and, you know, in the groove of my school yet, which is okay since it's really only been two weeks since I found out that I got in. So that's okay. Um... I get to go and get some books and get an ID and all the stupid stuff that you do when you go to college. And it's exciting, but it's also, I haven't colleged in like six years, so it's going to be different. Um, and also, the timing is pretty horrible because on Thursday, I'm actually leaving to go to Washington for a week. I'm going to be in Tacoma and the surrounding area, terrorizing the West Coast with all my glory. And I'll probably be making a video from there, obviously, because that's where I'll be. So, um, so yeah, so there's that, and, you know, who knows, I'm always, it's always crazy trying to make vacation videos while I'm on vacation, but I'm gonna make sure that I do something, even if it's just like a Saturday, like a, I might have to post early or something, I don't really know, but that's exciting, and I'm looking forward to that because I just really need a vacation, I need a break, and I'm excited that I get to do that before I go back to school, even though if I apply for this job and they're gonna call me next week while I'm away and I'm gonna be like, I'm sorry, I gotta, I won't be back until whatever. And then it's my roommate's birthday and we've got all kinds of plans and then school starts like, just like boom, 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 boom. So like stuff is happening really quickly and it's crazy. So Sarah's asking, um, how do we deal with, or do we like things that are like super unexpected? Um, it depends on what it is, I guess. I mean, if it's a good thing, if it's a, ooh, it's a surprise, ooh, let's be spontaneous, ooh, let's go to the beach for a week. Yeah, okay. I can get behind that. I'm gonna do, I don't know what I'm gonna do when I'm in Washington, but I really like that. And it's kind of fun to have my options open. But, like, the unexpected news that my principal quit, or not quit, but is moving jobs, or that when I find out that somebody's leaving that I love a lot, or stuff like that is really frustrating for me, and I don't take change really well initially. I freak out, so that's not exactly, um, that's not exactly good, but, um, 
but yeah, and so I, I'm excited for you and you're going to the beach stuff. And Tally, I'm super excited that you got your song on the on those DVDs. And I I understand what you mean when you're saying you know like I did this did this a while ago and now I'm kind of embarrassed of it. I um I feel that way sort of about my my Nano novels. Um, I have actually like I don't know if you guys who do Nano know this, but you you probably do. But if you complete it, if you win. You reach the word count goal. You can give they give you a coupon for Create Space where you can get a paperback copy of your book, which is pretty awesome. Um, and I've only managed to do it once because there's all kinds of things because you have to, you're in charge of all the formatting and stuff. You have to do all the formatting yourself, and it's really crazy. And I'm running out of time. But anyway, I've only made one of them into a book, and when I had people read it, it was really kind of embarrassing. But anyway, so I will talk to you guys later. I'm sorry I don't have a question. I love you lots, and I will talk to you from Washington. Bye. -bye.